What is up everyone? I'm Easton Gross and today I'm going to talk to you about how to calibrate your Blue Lab pH pin and your Blue Lab conductivity pin. And I'm going to start with the conductivity pin because it's going to be the easiest one to calibrate. This is what measures your EC and your PPMs when you're mixing your nutrients. So what you're going to need besides your pin is some of the Blue Lab conductivity standard which is 2.77 EC and a couple of small cups. Now these small cups right here came in a Blue Lab care kit that I used to use. And also in that kit, you get a whole, it's pretty much a whole cleaning kit. When I say a care kit. So you get your pH probe cleaner. You get a little brush every, every time you order one of these. This brush, you can just help clean the inside of your conductivity pin or the probe on the pH pin itself. And I kind of use this as a little dryer just to kind of help you get down in here. Because if you look at the pH pin, can be kind of deep to get like a regular towel in here so I just kind of use that and just dab around it just to kind of help soak up and that's a little bit of the storage fluid that you that I've soaked up right there so get all this moved to the side whoops all right so to calibrate your conductivity pen give it a little shake just pour a little bit you don't need too much just a, just enough to cover the electrode itself. So y'all can actually see that it's really not much at all. So what you want to do is you want to turn the pin on, stick it down in the solution and just let it sit. Now, I don't have this set to EC, so let me change that real quick. And you can actually change whether you want to read PPM at 500 or 700 scale or EC. This will also do Celsius by hitting units and holding. So there is PPM 500, there's PPM 500 Celsius, 700, and of course I'm in the United States, so I go by Fahrenheit, EC. Now that it is set to EC, let's put it back in, because it should be 2.7 EC. Just don't know if y'all can see this, it's a 2.8. So it's a little off, but not too bad. Leave it alone, let it sit, let it stabilize. And right when it has stabilized, you want to hit the calibration button, which is the center button right there. So when you press and hold the calibration button, what's going to happen is it's going to flash. It was going to flash three little tiny lines right there, and then it shows a check mark if it did take the calibration. And you can see the check mark right here. So it has definitely taken the calibration. So now my EC pin or PPM pin, whichever you want to call it, has now been calibrated. Now, one thing the manufacturer and other people will say is, don't reuse this, throw this out. Well, guess what? I've been using the same bottle right here for almost a year now, and it is only reading 2.8. To me, that's good enough to use for reading my PPMs. All right, now let's get into calibrating the pH pin. This pin requires two steps. One, you wanna make sure the pin's clean, which I know it is. And two, you need two different solutions. You need a seven pH and a four pH. When you calibrate this, if you forget what steps you need to take first, it'll actually give you the calibration method on the back of your pH pin. So it says to start with 7.0 and then go move to 4.0 after your rinse. And if you look, I put a line on here to let me know how much I need to add to the cup to check the calibration. Let's go ahead and add to seven. Now I do keep bottles behind each other because if you look on the label, yellow ring, the solution is ye yellowish in color. Well, the 4.0 is a red ring. And that's is reddish in color. Sorry about I had to sneeze. So it says on the back, start with 7.0. So let's go ahead and put in the 7.0. Well, I hope if I turn it on. So it is on, it's reading 6.6. .6. Put it in the 7.0 solution. And it's reading 7.0. Let it sit and stabilize. I almost forgot to turn the EC pin off. 
What you don't want to see is major fluctuations. You want to see it around 7.0. If it's one point over like 7.1, I don't worry about that. I still go ahead and calibrate it because it will calibrate it to 7.0. So it hasn't moved. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the calibration button. So it says calibrate. This will have a couple zeros. It'll flash four zeros and then it'll move, have you move to the next step. It'll say calibration, cal, C-A-L, and then it'll move you to the next step. So as long as you see a little seven when the screen goes away. So it says cal, and it's got the little seven. So it's accepted that calibration right there. So now I just gotta rinse this off. All right, now that I got the pH pin rinsed off after calibrating in this 7.0 solution, you, wh one thing I do want to stress is you don't want to turn the pin off while you're rinsing it. You want to leave it on. If not, you have to do the calibration process all over again. So now that it's cleaned off, let's put it in the 4.0. And 4.2. I think I need to replace that solution because I had a little something in there that I didn't expect. 4.1. I can barely see that anyways. It's reading 4.1 right there. So you just take your calibration button, press and hold. It'll show cal, it'll flash a couple lines, and it'll give you four flashing zeros. And if it accepts it, it'll also put a check mark right next to pH. And it accepted it. So my pH pin now has a check mark right here. And it's good to go for another 30 days. This is something that I can't stress enough is checking your pH pin and recalibrating it. pH pin is so pH pin. pH is so crucial to grow in your favorite medicinal plants because it can cause nutrient lockout, it can cause uh, other issues, it can cause a pH lockout. There are different things that pH issues can cause, but at the same time, you need to make sure your, your EC PPM pin is also calibrated because you want to know how much, how many nutrients you're putting in to your uh, plants. So this is how you calibrate your Blue Lab pH and conduct conductivity pin. If you have any other questions, drop them down in the comments. I will be more than willing to answer them. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy.